boy Heaven Hollywood back on IE Network. And this is the Heaven Hollywood Report. And let's get to it. Shout out to my sponsor in case you didn't know. That's icydk.blog. Check them out on all mobile devices and the World Wide Web. Now, we're going to start this off. We have a few topics to talk about. Talk about. Let's get it started with the baby. So, the baby's concert in New Orleans had to be canceled because the baby was only able to, uh, could not sell out the venue and the tickets were down to $35, some of them. And he wasn't able to sell out uh, this concert event. No one's buying tickets to see the baby. And we are witnessing what a cancellation looks like. No, he's not young enough to be deactivated, so have to be canceled. And we are looking at probably our first real cancellation. Just a year and a half ago, the baby was one of the biggest young rap stars in the world. And you see how one quick statement taken wrong, because he didn't even really say anything that bad. One quick statement, Dua Lipa then goes and removes you from her biggest record and from one of the biggest records of that year. And you get removed from it. Now every place you're doing, you have to find special venues that's going to take you. You have to go overseas because you know they don't care overseas. You know, you'll still get mad people singing your song, mad people like you because they're not really into all the drama and everything that the states are in. But you're witnessing a real life cancellation, folks. Look at... He has to, you know, this is concerts over in Seoul, Japan, and and China, so like that. That's fine, but he's being canceled back in the United States, and it's sad because the baby, he wasn't trying to be homophobic with that with that comment, but they are pretty much are done with the baby. Let me know if you think the baby got a raw deal. Do you think they should have canceled the baby? Or I think he should at least got another chance to redeem his career. Moving on to the baby's baby mama, Danny Lay, with her fine self. Now, she was spotted riding in the car with Fabulous Cat. Fabulous has on a new, spitting a new joint. Danny Lay's uh, seen there mumbling some of the words, mouthing some of the words. And everyone said it's for a, full, a uh, video shoot. That Danny Lay is in with Fabulous now. I'm I'm sure Danny Lay is just not playing Fabulous's girl, so they probably have a song coming out together, a collaboration. And I, if she does, that's a dope move. Fabulous is, is always good on the R and B um, collaborations. Right, and his voice fits in perfect. With he's like a different version of Mace. So. How do you think that's going to sound? Danny Lay and Fabulous. Let me know if you're here for that one. I mean, I want to, I want Danny Lay and Chris Brown again, but I'm interested to see how Danny Lay and Fabulous works out. So let me know if you think that's going to be a good combination and if you're going to support that song. Moving on to Megan Thee Stallion and Kelsey Nicole, her former best friend and I don't like talking about this, you know, subject at all. I think it's sad that these two black women who were best friends for years, you know, I hate the fact that they're not, they're now probably, you know, worst enemies or close to it or, or at least enemies. So Megan Thee Stallion was on a live last night with Jonathan. Now to me, I'm going to, I always have to keep it down the middle. I wouldn't have went on the live with Jonathan. When she got on the live, she was making comments, asking Jonathan what happened. Why was she mad at him? Tell everybody why I was mad at you. And she said, oh, don't mention any names. We're not giving nobody no free press. The moment she said that, I was like, this this is not going in a good direction. I don't think she ever should have did that. So what happened is she talking about, you know, Jonathan's talking about some girl who Megan didn't like and this, that, and the other. And they're saying, oh, don't try to put no names to it. Don't try to, you know, say it's this person or that person. Don't mention no names. So everybody thought at first she was talking about Asian doll. 
But then she made a comment, you know, she went on the comments, it's not about Asian doll. So then I guess people started um, thinking it was about her former friend Kelsey. So then Kelsey comes to the comments and says, put a name to it. Put a name to it. And then they start going at it. Megan said something about, um, you know, when I was paying your rent, Kelsey fires back with when I was doing your homework. You know, then it's just what happens is these other fans, a, a fan, I believe this was a fan of, of um, Nicki Minaj, I believe Precious or Peaches or whoever that girl is that be eating crap. She eats like poop and stuff like that. She started making comments about Megan's mother. All right. Um, people start going back to the Tory thing. Jokes about getting shot. You know, Megan said something like, feed the roaches. Because I think she has something like that in one of her songs. And she says, feed the roaches. And then someone came and commented. Now, this account has been since deleted. Thank Twitter for that. Someone counted, your roaches are get your, your mom is getting ate up by them. And there were some people and blogs that was liking this comment, laughing at this comment, retweeting this comment. And I just think that, that I think that's awful. I think that's sick, personally. I personally think that's sick, that someone would be condoning this topic. Listen. You know, people are have have decided they're going to pick whether they believe Megan is uh, innocent or lying, lying or not lying in the uh, Tory case. And just because they may believe that she's lying, they let they make out like all of these things is being said to her is justified just because they feel as though she's lying about the Tory case. So how does lying about a, a, a Tory case, how does, how does she deserve for people to make fun of her mother dying? How do those two coincide? How is that a trade-off? Especially when you don't even know if she's lying yet or not. There hasn't even been a decision. But people have made up in their mind. Their decision means nothing. All right, they've made up in their mind that they don't believe Megan. So now everything that happens to Megan, everyone's laughing and co-signing. There was about a thousand likes on, on that, a couple of hundred retweets. So the people who are liking it and retweeting it, you're just as sick as the person who made the comment. All right, so, you know, I this woman, is it's, it's so funny. Everyone says, oh, yeah. Coming for a strong black woman when they're talking about people that they like. If it, if someone comes up for for Beyonce, oh, coming for a strong black woman. But last the last time I checked, Megan is a, is a black woman too, and no one cares when people come for her. No one cares. It's a different set of rules for Megan Thee Stallion. So, I'm glad that Twitter deleted that account. You know. People, is it really that deep? You know, because because uh, Megan is beef is may be beefing with the your fave, or maybe you're a Tory Lanez fan, and you don't like Megan now. It's that deep to be laughing at her dead mother. Me personally, I take offense to that because I've lost my mother, and I know how close I was to my mother. And I'm older than Megan Thee Stallion, so you would figure I'd be able to take it better. There has not been one day. My mother's now been gone five years. There's not been one day I have not cried over my mother. Not one. Not one. So I, I think that's horrible. I think that's horrible. You know, people these days have no sympathy, no empathy whatsoever. You know, now Megan's saying she's going to delete her her app, you know, or whatever, because of those comments. And then here comes Kelsey right back again. Oh, but you not P, though. Because I think Megan earlier said, I'm not put, somebody said, oh, she cleared up whether it was about Asian doll real fast because she didn't want no problems, LOL. Once again, trying to start. 
So then Megan just said, ain't never been pussy. So then when she said she's deleting apps, here comes Kelsey with her flat ass. Oh, but uh, you ain't never been pussy, though. So it's just continuous. Once again, Kelsey Nicole popping her head out every three months. You know, when, when nobody's talking to her, nobody mentioned her name. You know, it's a hit dog hollering. And then she's popping up and still won't tell nobody what happened. I told you, don't you come back here until you're ready to tell people what happened. Didn't I tell you that, Kelsey Nicole? But you still popped your flat ass back out here in three months, as usual, clockwork, when you see nobody's talking about you, nobody's checking for you, and now you want to start running off at the mouth. Don't come back until you got a story to tell. So shout out to Megan Thee Stallion and shame on you to all those people, you know, uh, co-signing that, those, those tweets. Finally, M.I.A. Now, M.I.A., you know, a lot of her fans are looking forward to her next album. M.I.A. said that her album is delayed. She was waiting two years for the, uh, uh, the Nicki Minaj verse. And another two years for the Doja Cat verse. We said, and now it seems as though all things are go. So it sounds like MIA is saying that she's going to have Nicki Minaj and Doja Cat um, both on her album. Now, I don't know whether this is going to be a song between the three of them or whether it is a song with her and Nicki Minaj and then another song with her and Doja Cat. So we'll have to look forward to see in that, but very interesting pairing. M.I.A. and Nicki Minaj and M.I.A. and Doja Cat are all three of them. And she has international appeal. You put them with Nicki and Doja Cat. I mean, what? how could you not see that record doing well? So let me know what you think down in the comments. Do you think it would, if it happens, will it be a record with all three of them? Or will it just be two separate records? One with Doja Cat, one with M.I.A. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. It's your boy Heaven Hollywood. I thank everybody for all their support. I'll catch you in the next one.